So this is the Bamboo A1 with an AMS light. Next to it I'm running an old Mac, an, I, an old Mac, iMac. That's a 21 inch iMac uh, running Windows because I hate Mac software. And the reason I use this is because it's dead easy to put Windows on. It's a very nice screen and these things are worth nothing. Sorry about the flicker there. This is the AMS. The AMS is completely covered now, as you can see, and enclosed in the enclosure to try and make sure I have no issues with my prints. Obviously, to make sure I've got no water in the air and so forth. It's got gauges on the side here. There's no silica gel in these yet, so but you can see it's telling me the temperature outside of the unit and the temperature inside the unit on them two different ones. One's measuring inside, top one's measuring Inside, bottom one's measuring outside, going through a vent in the bottom here. So this is how I have it set up. So, let's do the video. Quick look at some of the features. So this is your screen. It's nice and easy to read. You can see I've printed a cover for it on here, but it's nice and easy to read. You can do every operation you want from in here. You can obviously lower, uh, download to your SD card and print from there. So this is how it... The poop bucket, the famous poop bucket, is something I printed that's underneath here. But as you can see in this image, it's how it cuts it off. So it's cutting it off with this little thing that strikes backwards and forwards on the screen. And there you can see a more detailed image of what it's doing. So it will tell you on the screen what it's doing on the bottom line. And here it's starting to print. So look how nice the first layer goes down on this. The first layer goes down perfect. And it's done that every single time for me. There's absolutely no issues with it coming down on the first layer. The more poop from on a better way that you're going to get is the more time do you change colour. So when you change colour it obviously empties the tube every time. It doesn't leave any filament in the tube at all. So when you change your printer off it empties it and when it changes it obviously does it. So let's have a quick look at the software. This is Bamboo Studio. It's a free download, you can get it from their site. And this is basically what it looks like. So the user which you set up at the in the first place with you just need an email address and then you set up a password. It's simple as that. Machine and this need to be set up exactly the same so for it to work. And basically this is what it does. So if we go into prepare, this is our print bed, as it looks like on most slices you use. Um it's a simple kind of process so we're gonna have a look so I've got if I've got a file I've got some files saved in here so we'll import one I've got some on my desktop some of them are big files but you're gonna get the same if my machine catches up because it's a bit quite slow today so let's have a look at this wind this deflector so there you go so this is deflector so if you hold your left mouse button down and move the mouse around you can move your plate around right mouse button you can move the actual whole thing side to side so pretty standard fare on here you've got your strength your speed your support if you want it if you do want support you hit enable support there and then you can select here to what type of you want trees are always the best at one to use because they always seem to pull off dead easy and then here you've just got your britam and stuff like that and some other little bits time lapse whether you want to do a time lapse of the video recording which i'll discuss with you later probably you might have already seen it actually in the video but you can do that if i click up on here and then i resync my filaments this will show you what i've actually got in mine so these are what i've got the minute on mine i'm running that is actually a gold but some of the colors are brilliant you can choose from that's yellow that's white and that is a green so i've got them in my ams at the minute so I can use any of those that I want. So once I've got my print onto here that I want to do, I'm going to skirt through this quite quickly because there's so many videos on how to use this on the internet, it's untrue. So if I click slice, so that's already sliced it. I've already done this, printed this one once, that's why the slice was so quick. But it's going to tell me it's going to take 22 minutes total, 28 minutes total sorry five minutes of prep time the prep time is quite it's up to you whether you have that or not i have mine every single time it starts up do a series of checks to make sure the print's going to turn out right i think it's well worth five minutes but 
you don't need to do that but i always do and i'm never going to stop i don't think because i get perfect i've never had this thing print bad so i'd leave that in it's going to take me it's going to take 1.7 meters of my filament at 5.09 grams so it's going to cost me 10p to make it roughly um it's very easy to use and if i was to go to here and i go print plate here i can change the pla to any color i want white yellow green so i can change and decide i want to print in them colors so it's dead easy and if i was to hit and click the time lock button that is also going to video uh, record that entire print process um in time lapse which is mm, the camera if the camera was good or better it'd be fantastic but the camera being what it is it's still handy the camera's still great to the fact i can just go in and view to make see where my prints are and then if i hit send on here it's going to send it to my printer i'm not going to do that because the printer's running it's on downstairs um if i go to send and hit send it will allow me to send this to the sd card on the printer which i'm going to do it doesn't matter about that so easy because it's preparing it and it's sending the g code over lan to the printer which is downstairs and it's gonna put it on the sd card so i can go print it when i want so that's successfully done on device if i go into device this will show me if it ever catches up with itself what i've got in my pla etc 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 nothing's printing so i've no figures in here if i click that camera it should give me a live view of the camera there is a delay on here obviously as you can imagine because it's on wi-fi but there you can see my printer you see the print bed and it's live um and then if you go into calibration you can do a very detailed calibration print which i'm not going to do either as i, I say i want to skirt around it one quick one little thing i do want to show you is if you click on your icon this is where you can adjust everything like you can on the normal one i can move it i can rotate it i can scale it i can put it flat on its face i can cut it off there however if you go to color painting and then i select one of my colors up here green and then I go to fill, or I've got gap fill. So if I go to fill, if this is made up of more than one part, it'll allow me to print different colours, to put it in different colours, like that. That will actually print just like that. So you can print that just like that if you wanted. Because of the AMS, it's going to allow me to print that off. I have to remember to slice it again. And if I was to go to yellow here, and I select yellow for that bit, I can have that bit in yellow. And if I want to do the inside bits white, we can do the inside bits in white. So we can have a multicolored print. When you've done that, you have to remember to go back and slice it. Because this is going to change its time to 6 hours and 29 minutes. If you're wondering why it's going to take all that time, because every single layer, it'll have to change the filament. No filament stays in the tube on this printer, which is why you don't get clogs or anything. So when the printer turns off or when I change anything, the printer empties. So when I change colour, it's going to empty it. It's going to make sure it's purged it. It cuts it off. It loads another one up. It takes time to do colour prints. Obviously, because I've gone in white and I put another colour in, that's going to make it more complicated if that makes sense so basically i just wanted to show you that to go a quick overview they're going to take time to do colored prints but at the end of the day i think they're worth it so that's the software back to the video so these are recorded from the onboard camera onto the video card you can put the video card into your computer and you can get them off as you can see it has been recorded on a potato so it's not the best it's a very low frame rate and because of that you get these horrible things where it looks like it's warping but it's all right to check your print just to make sure the base layer has gone down and to make sure your print is still actually going what i must say is when you're watching this live it's even lower frame rate than this depends how good an internet connection is you i'm using wi-fi so obviously i'm going to suffer a little bit here we've got some sample prints that have been done there's more further on in the video so these are ones that are printed off the next box as you can see controller holder here as I'm elegant, elegantly showing you there, there's one for PS5. As you can see, the quality is good. These are straight off the printer. I haven't done any method nice. around cleaning up anything like that. These are straight off the printer. So I think these have both been printed in 6.16. Same as this one. This is 0.16. This is a building that's been a World War II building that's been hit by a bomb. I think it turned out really nice. 
this does need a bit of cleaning up. You can see a bit's about where I've left. You can see I'm trying to get some out there where there has some, we've left some of the support. This is a, that's a skull, but it's actually a sure clay it, model of a skull that's been 3D printed and it looks quite cool. You can see it's, it would look like that if you made it out of clay, like they do when they do a reconstruction in forensics. And basically that's really what you've got from there. So let's have a look and let's see what my final thoughts are going to be on the printer. So, the printer itself. I got this for £369 with the AMS from a company in the UK. I'll leave a link in the description and what it was is a refurbed one. So it's actually the ones that were returned because they had a power cord issue. So these ones have been redone completely and sent out. It comes in a brand new box and you could never tell. I couldn't tell it had ever been used or any marks on it or anything. So 369 with the AMS with an absolute bargain. Also on the picture I've got some more on the screen you're going to see some more shots of some things I've printed since. This video is very much out of sync. I've done this over the last three weeks I've owned the printer. I've just been doing a bit here and there. Um, but this is uh, some prints that I did earlier. They look really nice. So the printer itself, yeah, it's fantastic. It's perfect. You can't get anything better for a beginner. God almighty, it's so much better than all the other rubbish out there. Um, I had an Ender 5 before this thing and you, the Ender 5 is garbage compared to this. This thing prints first time every time. I have never printed anything in the highest resolution yet because I've never needed to. The pictures you've seen have not been printed in the highest resolution. I think the highest I've been to is 0.16 because obviously I don't want to spend hours printing so 0.16 is what I tend to go to as a maximum. And as you can see on the initial part of the video which had been filmed out I think, it, this, the, on your screen now you've got no AMS. So the AMS is on there, sorry, but there's no cover on it. So the cover that I've made, the enclosure, is available from Maker Lab. It takes about 17 to 18 hours to print. I used clear filament to do the main shell uh, and then yellow for the rest of it. And it's really decent, to be honest. I really am happy with it. It makes, it finishes it off and it stops dust getting on. I've got mine in the garage so it stops dust going all over everything so I'm more than happy with that. Like I say the printer's perfect for a beginner. The slicing software I would recommend watching some videos on slicing software. Not if you just want to print. If you want to print you can go simply on to make a lab print, um, download something and print it. It's as simple as that. Just make sure your printer's set to the right thing and print it. But to get a bit more advanced into it, I'd recommend go watching some videos. There's some great videos out there that I've watched. Um, I'm not one of these people that makes them type of videos, but yeah, I'm more than happy with the printer. So, thanks very much for watching the video. Sorry it's a bit out of sync, and hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.